What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, bringing you the highlighted attacks, the best attacks coming from the Forbidden versus Spartans Legacy War. And yes, this was a random midweek matchup, but Forbidden with a solid nine star victory. 119 to 110 was the final. For those of you guys wondering, yes, Forbidden did have one extra Town Hall 11. It was something like a 919 or 918 breakdown. Um, Town Hall 10s were even, but yes, Forbidden did have one extra Town Hall 11 on the map, but a nine star victory nevertheless. Very, very uh, strong showing from Forbidden coming in this war. So what I have lined up for you guys, I have two Town Hall 9 attacks, uh, four Town Hall 10 attacks, and one 11 v 11 three star to show you guys. So definitely stay tuned for the remainder of the video. Wait until you guys see some of the attacks that came from this war. So right on this one, we have R Wade, AKA R Dub. He's gonna be taking on Half-Blood Prince uh, from Spartan's Legacy. And what he's doing here, uh, kind of doing a queen walk down the left side. Uh, he has one golem and a couple wizards over on the upper right hand side. Two golems going in with bowlers, a couple more wizards, and of course his king. Uh, for spells, he's bringing one jump, one heal, and two rage spells. But check out where this queen is, guys. She is all the way on the other side of the map. And look at where he started out. Just goes to show you how strong uh, this kill squad is. So with only with no point defenses in the core, just that wizard arrow, he's actually gonna go ahead and take his time, let the kill squad beat through this wall. Uh, again, he only brought one jump spell to this attack. Uh, the, the second and final rage right there in the core, you guys. Queen still walking, still has her ability, and he also still has the king ability, and not a whole lot left, you guys. We'll go ahead and times the remainder of this. Uh, we have quite a few attacks to get through, and as you guys know, we don't want the video to get too long. Even brought a couple loons uh, for the back end, but our way killing it on this one. Uh, Town Hall, uh, one of the last buildings to go down, wrapping it up with that three star. Now I'll go ahead and jump up to base number, what do we have on our notes here? Base number 32, we got Nightman taking on three point layup. And check this out, you guys, doing it. Yes, yes, doing it with the drag hoe. Finally, someone is using the drag hoe other than myself. And as you guys see with the air defenses all clumped up uh, on one side of the base right here, and a, a semi-exposed, not, not, not a crazy exposed Archer Queen, but exposed enough um, to where you can send these drags in, pick up a couple defenses, uh, and also get decent value uh, that he's gonna be getting from these heroes. Um, but yeah, it's very, very strong attack. Definitely give it a try uh, if you guys want. Yeah, fuck it. I'll just go ahead and put it down in the description for those of you guys that may have missed the video. I did a whole video on this attack strategy, but it's very, very strong. Uh, normally, you're bringing anywhere from 15 to 18 hogs and also hogs coming out of the CC. Um, so as you guys see, Dragon's picking up a couple Archer Towers, a Wizard Tower, and of course, taking out the enemy queen, which is the most important part. Uh, if not, she will wreck all of your hogs. And then you pick a side to pick up a couple defenses and break the defensive ring uh, with your heroes. And you just send in your hogs. You got uh, three heal spells and you got a pair of poisons. Even still has a drag up somehow. Just, just goes to show you how uh, powerful this attack strategy is. And there's truly nothing but air defense over here. And look. Queen is still up and still has her ability. Holy shit, I just noticed he actually just swagged uh, the ability, probably when he dropped that heal spell. But regardless, you can swag your queen ability and still pick up a three star with this attack, you guys. Uh, about three defenses left and one heal spell left. All kinds of hogs still up. We'll go ahead and times two on this one. And there was a hound in the CC. I do get asked this a lot in case uh, you're worried about the CC, if it's a fresh hit or a cleanup and it's like a damage CC and uh, the dragons don't take the CC out. What you do is behind the dragons, if you want the dragons to take them out, uh, you can drop a hog, or you can always drop a hog with your heroes. You'll lure any of the ground troops out that will completely wreck your hogs. But yeah, I do get asked that question quite a bit. Uh, but Nightman, doing it with the Drago, had to, sh I'm, I'm sorry guys, I had to show you guys that attack. So those are the two um, Town Hall 9 attacks. Now we're gonna get into some of the 10v10 action forbidden you guys picking up 
14 10 v 10s this war and and like i said i handpicked at least my opinion what the best attacks were from this war you guys we got a couple ground attacks we got a couple air attacks before we get into the 11 v 11 three star so definitely stay tuned um but check this out guys two baby dragons four valkyries heroes and wall breakers is all that's going to be used in this kill squad and one raid spell dragons on each side just to trim um the trash dropping down two valkyries uh or, or two on each side followed up by double double dropping those wall breakers popping both of those walls and the raid spell of course it was a damage cc so we went ahead and dropped a poison not only to slow down the queen but it also caught the enemy cc troops but definitely watch that entry again seemed very very simple as far as um i guess execution i mean at least he made it look very very simple uh just two baby dragons four valkyries and your heroes the tiniest of tiny kill squads but look at what uh he got i believe this is mate I believe this is mate do not uh quote me on that but i'm pretty sure and using the queen ability for the very very end picking up a wizard tower and an air defense and a tesla queen's gonna go down to the inferno tower beam but we got lalo starting over here at the far right hand side at three o'clock uh, we do have a max hound coming out of the cc and check this out guys uh seven hay spells gonna be making these loons fly through this base no rage uh, for these loons we got seven haste and we have one heal spell as all these loons are going to be ending um, on two wizard towers. And check that out. Heal, scra uh, heal spell grabbing both um, groups of loons as they meet up. They're going to one-shot this air defense. And only two point defenses left. Uh, went ahead and dropped down a couple minions. And there's actually no pup in sight. All the pups are ripped. But has plenty of loons. Got a nice split there. And minions to go ahead and clean up this base. But a, a very... Uh, a very small kill squad but if you look at the value that he got taking out the queen taking out wizard towers um you know taking out two air defenses no i take it back taking out three air defenses the enemy cc all kinds of value for such a little kill squad uh but definitely had to bring you guys that one now we're gonna go ahead and show you uh fry black aka must and another um another highlighted attack it, it, it's all about value guys you have to i mean i i know i say it ten thousand times in each of my videos but that's what it comes down to getting value from all your spells from all your troops that is what is going to help you guys get these three stars uh getting the most value from your troops so just looking wait until you guys see not only the funnel uh that he sets but what his little kill squad gets and what he's bringing with this kill squad went ahead and sued the queen but as you guys see the the funnel is clearly being set right here as we're uh bouncing uh getting those rock skips off the elixir storage on to the drill and check this out bowler's gonna get one more rock skip and takes out that drill he's gonna drop down two giants his king already sued the queen to set the funnel down there at six o'clock and he's got six bowlers he's sending into this base goes ahead and uh gets the wall break and drops down a rage and that is it and here comes the poison this is a hound loon uh coming out of the cc so went ahead and dropped the poison that's why he went ahead and just sued his queen as opposed to sending her in but look at what these bowlers get you guys on this little entry um i mean completely carves out this entire section and there's still yes there's still so he got two air defenses already taken out and two air defenses remaining starting the lalo down here uh, starting is all at five and three o'clock dropping down three hay spells um, and he does not have a rage for uh, the loon portion again just like we saw in the last attack just hay spells and a heal spell but I'm telling you guys learning from the best right here uh, keeping these loons moving through the base making sure the hounds do not get too far in front of the loons and making sure no defenses get skipped that's another thing uh, making sure the loons are taking out each and every defense so they don't have to double back especially if it's something like an air targeting defense uh, but just completely swallowed that base hole uh but mustang getting it done uh that's two little mini kill squads that we've seen so far that are just completely wrecking these town hall tens uh breaking the defensive ring taking out the queen 
uh, taking out key objectives like air defenses and wizard towers, but absolutely loving uh, these mini kill squads. Uh, what's next on our list here? We got base number 17. We'll go ahead and take a look at that one. Uh, again, um, this is going to be, again, I believe this is, but yes, he did six pack this war. Uh, but check this out, guys, and highlighting the little kill squads yet again on this attack. Uh, Going to be doing a CB mass hog. Uh, not even bringing bowlers to this kill squad. But again, wait till you guys see what he's going to be getting. Uh, the value he's going to be getting from this kill squad. Uh, just drop down a few wizards. Nine wall breakers under rage. Then go ahead and pop that middle compartment as well. So pretty much those nine wall breakers getting access to four different compartments. Uh, King, not sure if that was intentional. Uh, but King ended up walking on this attack. Uh, but but this level 40 queen, uh, still with her ability, um, is just going to completely wreck this base. And both these heroes are right next to each other. But check this out, you guys. Uh, Pop's ability just in time. Took out all kinds of splash. Got a wizard tower. Got a bomb tower. Got enemy king. Got enemy queen. Taking out the enemy CC. And here we go, guys. Uh, pretty much two finger dropping his hogs. Starting them. Uh, nice and early and, and not only that uh, but making sure that these hogs are pretty much one-shotting all these defenses especially the expos and the wizard towers hogs do like to get caught up on those defenses as they have the most hit points uh, so starting off nice and heavy and he only brought one raid spell for the kill squad leaving him four heal spells for uh, the rest of the base and as you guys see, you're going to drop down this heal spell and check out how many defenses this heal spell covers. It's covering the expo, the cannon, uh, the archer tower, that other archer tower where these hogs on the side kind of snuck in there. They go ahead and pop the single, uh, the single giant bomb that was on that was on the front side, that inferno tower. They're going to end on the cannon and the uh, archer tower, wrapping it up with that three star, getting that cleanup down. Look at this kid. What is he doing? That king walked around the entire freaking base. That's pretty much where he started. Uh, last building to go down is going to be that clan castle. Uh, absolutely incredible war for Stance 34, a.k.a. Mate. Uh, <laughs> amazing, amazing war. Okay, guys, so we've seen a couple mini kill squads. Now we're going to see the biggest kill squad that you've probably ever seen Check out this attack, you guys. Very, very interesting. I have seen it used a couple times, um, but it has been a while. But check this out, guys. Honestly, I don't even know what kinds of bases you even use this attack on. Uh, but real quick, grabbing a cannon, dropping on one hog and one bowler with uh, skipping off that elixir collector. Goes ahead and takes out that cannon. Uh, but he's pretty much setting a funnel with his queen down here at 6 o'clock. Look at the value. Yet again, look at the value from that dragon over there. He's taken, about, he's taken out about 12% already by himself. Queen beating on a wall. Um, but here comes all the Valkyries, bringing 14 Valkyries on this attack. Uh, he's going to be bringing how many? Yes, he's bringing CC bowlers and another three or four bowlers uh, behind them. And on this attack, uh, for spells, we got three Rage, we got two Heal, and one Skeleton spell. Um, as these bowlers are going to be ripping through the core of this base. And is a damage CC, but dropping on that poison is going to be no issue. And we do have Queen still, uh, I, I guess you could say, doing a little Queen charge. Uh, as she was stuck on that wall, she beat through it and kind of met up with this main push right here. And look, even... I it <laughs> still has the skeleton spell. Not sure if that was intended for that single shot IT, but not even going to matter. TTD Black, I think he's going to be freaking swagging it on this one, you guys. Um, but yeah, very, very interesting attack. There was another 10v10 on one of the lighter bases, but this was, I mean, this was a fully max defense Town Hall 10. Incredible attack. I don't even know what to call it yet. Let me know what you guys think of that one down in the comment section. Um, but TTD Black... Whether it's bitch, whether if it's hog, whether it's freaking Sui Hero Lalo, this mass Valk attack does not matter. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out a um, 11 uh, 11 attack from Karma. We see a lot of Lalo. We see a lot of different variations of bitch. Uh, so I definitely want to bring you guys something a little different, trying to spice it up a little bit as uh, Karma is going to be taking on this base with hogs. Uh, entering in this uh, little junction right here, set a nice funnel to make sure all those troops uh, kind of met up 
uh, and that little V taper, drop down a jump spill, opening up, what is it, uh, at least four different compartments, starting his hogs over here at nine o'clock. And with not many defenses surrounding that town hall, other than that Tesla right there, uh, you can clearly see the uh, path that these hogs are going to be taking. Going to be going counterclockwise and even still has Queen up. Uh, already used her ability. She's going to go ahead and go down to that expo, but already got more than enough from that kill squad. Pretty much took out the entire uh, top half of this base and still has two more heal spells. All kinds of hogs, you guys. I uh, even have some hogs down here on the bomb. They're going to go ahead and take out that archer tower as is distracted on the hogs inside of that heal spell. Still has one more heal and check it out. You guys even still has that warren up. Um, and even and, and another thing to note, even with the expos on ground, uh, still using a ground attack just shows you guys how powerful this attack is when you can break that defensive ring and see a clear path for your hogs. They're going to go ahead and end. Actually, the last defense down is going to be the Eagle Artillery. No, it's not. It's actually the Archer Tower. But it does not matter. Karma smashing this one, uh, taking on Mousy from uh, Spartan's Legacy. Uh, beautiful, beautiful attack, um, and doing it with hogs, doing it with something a little bit different than we are used to seeing, but that's going to do it. These were the highlighted attacks from the Forbidden versus Spartans Legacy War. Huge shout out to them, Groovy Tony. You know, it's all love, baby. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, that mini intro, but that is going to do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the attacks. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Any comments down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.